Councillor Hills, it's been moved by Councillor Fletcher. Have I got a seconder for the noting recommendation? The Deputy Mayor. Um, all those in favour, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Carried. Um, I now have a procedural uh, motion. I think it's uh, thank you very much to our officials and, and actually a, and a special thank you for our officials for doing a, a fine job uh, in the preparation of this work. Really <coughs> impressed by it. Thank you. Um, the procedural motion is to take item 13 uh, um, ahead of item 12. And the reason for that, I think, is reasonably obvious. Item sure. 12 uh, deals with a specific relationship agreement, and item 13 deals with the general framework of it. So to me, it makes sense to, to deal with the framework and then come to the specifics. So I'll move that we... Um, that, um, Second. Yep. Uh, it's set out there in front of you, seconded by Councillor Filipina. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. To the contrary, aye. no. Carried. Um, so, if we look at uh, item number 13 and invite Rama Ormsby, a head of Maori Relationship and Governance, um, to, to speak to, to the paper. Tēnā koe te koromatua, tua tai rā mi ana koe nā i tāki nai ngā kupu hohonu i te timatango te hui. Hei tuwhera tēnei o ngā kōrero, huri noa, ko ngā rangatira i noho nei, ngā me mō te poari o kawana tanga tēnā koutou. Āta Māori, good morning. I'm um, very pleased to uh, bring this um, back before the uh, governing body, um, the relationship agreements and what we're presenting to you is a follow-on to um, uh, the relation agree uh, relationship agreements that was presented to the governing body back in 2013. Um, so what we're proposing to do is, um, is to uh, bring to the governing body a template that we've designed for local boards and mana whenua to work from to go ahead with, um, with developing their agreements. Uh, it also recognises the, the unique uh, dual governance of um, Auckland Council, uh, acknowledging the mana at the governing body level, uh, at the uh, mayor's level and also local board level, and also the mana of the mana whenua. Um, these have been brought back this is t template has been developed because of um, item 12, highlighting a, um, a gap in the process uh, in, in, in terms of having those relationship agreements brought back to the governing body every time one has been signed up between the local board and mana whenua is quite problematic. So what we are proposing through the template is that, is that if you agree uh, to accept this, is that... Um, uh, unless the agreement is substantially different from the template that we've uh, prepared, uh, we will not have to come back to the governing body to have that endorsed, um, only in the cases where it's substantially different. So um, I must refer to uh, our other I item 12 in terms of Te Rio Ho and, and Rodney, in terms of that uh, relationship agreement being substantially uh, consistent and aligned to the template that I'm presenting to you this morning. Um, they have both been um, reviewed by our legal team and, um, and they're very high level. The template is very high level. It seeks to give um, the council and mana whenua grounds to develop and proceed with a relationship at a governance level. Thank you very much, Rama. I'll uh, formally move the recommendations A to D. Have I got a seconder for that? Alf Filipina. Uh, and we'll revert to our, our, our good practice now of uh, questions first and then comments. So are there any questions uh, of our team? Uh, I have uh, Councillor Daniel Newman. Thank you, Rama. Um, i just refer to a couple of things here. On page 82 of the agenda in, in para 17 of your report, Port. It says um, it uses the word with respect to local boards, quote, there was general approval of the approach. Now, general is an interesting word to put in a report because there was no definitive position. Is that correct? What, what, what do you mean by general? Uh, the, um, the relationship agreement process was socialised with local boards, um, This and, um, and there was general... Uh, there wasn't any adverse um, reaction, I suppose, in terms of of uh, moving ahead on the relationship agreements process. 
So all local boards have resolved that they agree with this process, no. or you've interpreted that they weren't objecting to your process? They, uh, they, uh, they are supportive of having a relationship affirmed with the, the mana whenua. How was that support declared, through a resolution? That, um, that I don't think so, not at, at a re oh, resolution. Okay. Um, and You're correct, because I, in para 18, yeah, yeah. The, next, the next paragraph, you then say that to expedite the process of negotiating re relationship agreements, this report is also being made to the next business meetings of each local board for their approval. So it will be at the next meeting of the local boards following this one that you will discover whether, in fact, they support this process? They uh, have the opportunity to affirm, affirm the process and... Or decline it. Yeah, I, I, can't answer, I can't answer that, sorry. Well, they might. And what happens if they do say no? There are, all I can say is there are a number of local boards that are ready to move on uh, progressing their um, relationship agreements, and there are some that are not. Um, oh, but, so and there are not now. So how did you... There, there are some that may that not went. be in a position to... May not, will not? Yeah. May, may not. Okay. Uh, questions from Councillor Simpson. Um, thank you, Your Worship. Yes, Councillor Newman was exactly following my um, train of, of concern, I suppose, around the process. <coughs> so um, I'd be happy to... Uh, I'm sort of... The, my question is, yeah... I haven't seen the feedback from local boards. So if we're adopting the template for discussion with local boards, I get that. But are they, um, the, the changes of substance, I didn't understand how, uh, my question to you is, what is changes of substance? And so I don't know, we, we don't know what the other half of the shared governance arm of our organisation thinks about this. So let's go out and ask them, fine. But I don't think, uh, and my question is, uh, do you really think what is changes of substance, and do you not feel that good process would be that the agreements are presented right back to the governing body for approval? When um, my response to that, thank you, is that when when the lo local boards and mana whenua are ready to have those discussions and sit down and to talk about um, some of the things they'd like to put into their relationship agreement, this is a template that will enable them to work, they can work from there. Um, if there's anything that's um, substantially outside of those, um, outside of the template, obviously the local board, I would expect, would have to take that back before their working group to discuss, and then that would also have to come back to the governing body. Um, types of things that might be of substantial difference might be any commitments uh, that might have a financial implication, um, and I'm ex yeah. So, so who makes the decision whether the changes are of substance or not? Thanks, ben. Can, can I ask Phil Wilson to come in on this because it, it's an interesting point raised. Um, uh, first of all, in terms of process, um, whether this is a decision that is made here without regard to um, whether a local board in a particular case might be interested in it. I, I hear Rama's answer that if a local board is opposed, then they would seek uh, to have a, a change in substance to the relationship agreement, which would have to come back here. But I'm just trying to find the tidiest way through. I, I, I'm not sure that local boards, I, I've read the, as I'm sure councillors have, have read the template, and, and it seems like a good template to me. <laughs> But I, I can't presume what the local boards might determine about that. But Phil, would you like to comment on on process and the best way to proceed with this, uh, so that you know it might be tidier to have a, a a feedback, specific feedback from the local boards before we finalise the paper. But if, if you've got comments to make on that, I'd be interested to hear. Well, so I mean, the first thing I'd say is we. We'll obviously take your direction. If you if you want to have that formal local board input to this quite high level template before we uh, crack into it, we, we'll absolutely do that. The previous governing body did give quite clear direction to to Wakangamua to progress these relationship agreements. Okay, so that. 
that was most definitely affirmed as a direction um, at the time. In fact, I have to say I'm embarrassed that they haven't been progressed as fastly as fast as was originally intended, and this is part of getting on with it. But um, second point is, um, you know, my guidance would be this is only a high-level template. It's important that we get confirmation that you're broadly comfortable with it at this stage, mm. but we're about to go into a dialogue process with mana whenua and with the local boards. Mm. They will be participants in a discussion about each and every one of these agreements at potentially quite a detailed level. So there isn't, uh, there isn't an output here that they will not be absolutely engaged in. So, okay. And they will exercise their their own right to be party to something or not. So there's just one bit okay. of my question that hasn't been answered. Who determines the changes of substance? Yeah, do you, uh, it's a, that's, that's, a that's, that's a fair question. It would be, I, well, um, if you are comfortable with that being exercised at an officer level, it would sit with me. <laughs> Okay, what, what, what I'm hearing in, in response to the, the, the main question is that this is a decision about the governing, the governing uh, body, uh, but it will then subsequently be up to the local board as whether they wish to put their name to be participants to it. Uh, and as we've seen from the Rodney local board in the paper that we'll examine next, they were, they were quite happy to do so. And my, my anticipation is that the local boards will, will probably uh, all support it, but I can't take that for granted, and they, they make that decision. But I don't think it stops us approving it as an agreement between ourselves and the mana whenua, and then it's up to the local board as to whether they wish to be par <coughs> party to the agreement. That's, that's the answer you're giving to that, us. That, that's correct, and if I could just make one other point. This is a complex web multiple local, local boards and multiple mana whenua interests and the local boards may or may not have us the same view across all of the mana whenua interests. Mm. Okay, that, that's, and, that's and fine. I, I think that answers also. the question that was legitimately raised before. Uh, next uh, speaker, Councillor Casey. Just to raise a wee bit of confusion that I've got between the template and the actual, if we go back, we're going back to the terrier Um and it's the role of the council or the ward councillor, which is mentioned in the agreement, uh, item 12, but is not mentioned in the template, exactly. which yeah. is item 13. And in fact, all that's mentioned with regard to governing body is that we're responsible for making big picture and strategic decisions. I don't like the word big picture, by the way, it doesn't mean anything. But in actual fact, we're elected at large by the ward. So the ward councillor has an important role in any relationship with Mana Whenua, and it's not acknowledged in the template. And yet it is acknowledged when you go back to the, when we go on to look at the actual agreement, you'll see its relationship between the um, Mana Whenua, local board chair, local board members, and ward councillor. So just to say that, so I think when you've got, when you, this template needs a wee bit of work, because if you look at, I'm lo now looking at um, item 13, Paragraph 7, that doesn't do it. The governing body consists of the mayor and 20 governing body members. We are ward councillors, and it needs to be in there that, that we're elected by the ward, therefore we have a, an important role within this relationship. Right. I, I think the, the direction of that inquiry is reasonably clear. Is there a comment from the end of the table? Um, only, only that we thought we had covered that off by um, referring to the governing body. No, you haven't. We do the strategic direction, but we also are ward-based councillors. Yes. And that's what gets lost here. We're not, yeah. I'm not elected at large. Point. We make regional decisions, but we're elected by ward. Yeah, point taken. Yeah, so I'm, I'm comfortable that we make that change in the template. Yeah. Um, you, I hope you would understand the basis on which it was set out the way it was, which is that Auckland Council is the legal entity and it has two elements enshrined in the statute, that's where that comes from. My, my anticipation certainly would be, I mean, as Mayor, I'm not going to be able to attend every one of these signing ceremonies. My anticipation of whether or not I'm there, 
that in each and every case the ward councillor would be there and probably uh, in my absence would be the signatory to the document. But if we can make the role of the ward councillor more explicit, um, I'm comfortable with that. Okay, councillor uh, Philippina. Thank you, Your Worship. And is it questions and statements as well? Or uh, just both? Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between yeah, the two. That's but, what uh, I thought I'd try, and, try and make it a question and, okay. uh, and, uh, and, and, and you, you, you reserve your right to come back and make a statement. 